Hi, today I'm talking to you about my anterior cervical decompression infusion surgery with the bone graft for my hip. I am two days post-op and my recovery is going better than I originally expected. I didn't know really what to think. I, I searched online and mine was of the C6 and C7 and some people, uh, it varies uh, from person to person. However, when you go into the surgery, it's um, anest general anesthesia, which means you get gas and you have a breathing tube put down you. And you go in and you don't re get, you don't even remember going to sleep, and you wake up. When you do wake up, you feel like you got hit with a Mack truck. It hurts. Your whole neck hurts. Your shoulder hurts. Your your chest hurts. You can you can feel where the breathing tube went down there, and it and your whole esophagus is really raw. I was able to speak. I had a really hard time swallowing. Um, and I was really restless, which they told me was general for uh, anyone between the ages of males, especially between the ages of 20 and 40. You get a little restless. And I'm not going to lie, the first first couple hours coming out of surgery absolutely sucked. I couldn't get comfortable no matter what I did. Uh, once I got up to my room, they gave me Dilaudid um, and Percocet and uh, Valium. And that kept the pain at bay. It wasn't excruciating. On the scale of 1 to 10, it was about a 7. Um, I tolerate pain pretty good. Um, they were able to manage it and get it down to about a 4. Consistently about a 4. And the first night, um, again, I, I didn't have anything to eat. They only would give me Jello and uh, you know, popsicles but even that didn't really it was just a temporary fix um, and that night I could barely sleep um, I kept waking up in pain and it wasn't so much the the pain it was interior pain in my in my throat in my shoulders and in the actual incision it, it did hurt it did hurt a lot but uh, the painkillers kept that under control however it didn't seem like they were really working very good with my shoulders and my and my throat, my esophagus. I was discharged the next day. You're able to get up and walk around the next day, no problem. Um, I got up and I walked around and then they discharged me and I got home. And I was pretty miserable. I got um, flu-like symptoms afterwards, which is really normal. You, you know, achy joints, the, the hot and the cold, the hot and the cold, you know, body temps. I had a low-grade fever. I had drainage into my into my legs. I was coughing and coughing really hurt. I felt like my neck was wanting to explode. And it seemed like with every big breath I could really feel it. I could really feel the the breathing tube went into my <laughs> into my lungs, oddly enough. Um, which they say is all normal. And here I am, day two, post-op. And uh, I woke up and I felt really crummy. You, um, it's hard to move around. You can't lift up with your neck. What I found out you do is you put your hand behind your neck, and then you kind of use your elbow as like a crowbar and push yourself up. Um, I'm an, I'm a side sleeper, and what I noticed is that I wasn't able to sleep on my side at all last night. I mean, just rolling around is it hurts. You just want to lay there and just go to bed. And I woke up a couple times. Uh, I set my alarm to um, which I recommend for your your perk set and your value. Don't get behind on that stuff. You know, just keep up with that. Take it. And then uh, it was just this afternoon. I finally got up and um, had enough energy. Got some caffeine in me <laughs> and uh, removed it. Took a shower, which you're allowed to get wet. And um, I'm going to try to zoom in here. And this is how I look. This is the wound, two days post up. I was able to get up and I take a shower, and now I, I am actually feeling a lot better. The flu like symptoms seem to be residing. Um, I still do have a lot, a lot of pain in my upper shoulders. And what I found works really good is behind me here, I'll pull it up a little bit here, you have, I have a really good ice pack. 
that I keep on my shoulders and that seems to help really good also when I swallow like when I'm talking here and I'm swallowing uh, it does hurt uh, it took me uh, I'm, it took me about three times as long, if not four times as long, to eat my dinner. Uh, mashed potatoes, you know, start out with something that goes down smooth, take small, small, small bites. You can eat pretty much whatever. I wouldn't recommend anything rigid, just whatever soft, and just take smaller bites. And it seemed like last night, especially, um, every bite I would take, I'd have to wash it down with something to help it down. And, and that, that, I found out that started to hurt because you, the more stuff you got trying to push it down, the more your throat expands and it, and it expands into your neck and, and kind of, oddly enough, kind of like pushes your neck out a little bit. So smaller bites, small bites, small sips. Um, keep hydrated. You know, the doctor said that I should be up in, in a couple of days. Uh, I'm on six weeks, um, 20 pounds. Uh, obviously, I can't drive, or uh, because I'm on the, on the nar narcotics. Um, but one thing he said, you know, he gave me a neck brace. And he said I didn't really have to wear it, um, especially if I was just sitting around. Wear it if you're up and about. Um, wear it if you're comfortable. It, if it's more comfortable, some people it's more comfortable to have that neck support. For me, it really wasn't. I felt like it was pushing on my neck, and and um, so when I'm sitting here. Uh, just watching TV, uh, talking to you, I don't need it. But if I was get up and move around, I'd put it on. Um, when you walk, the bumps that you that you feel when you bump that that kind of jars your neck and kind of you know additional hurt. Basically, all in all, the first couple of days, especially the first week, just take it easy. This is part one. I'll update it in about uh, a week when I go see my doctor. After I go see my doctor, this is part one. I'll look at part two and I'll tell you how I'm doing. Well, I hope you find this interesting and I uh, don't don't be too nervous about having the surgery. I had really hard pain in my shoulder. It felt like somebody was ripping off m my arm off out of my socket and I should have had the surgery months ago and because of insurance and workers comp it got kept getting delayed and delayed and delayed but I, I'm going to have long-term effects. Long-term effects are going to be I'm going to I lose like four degrees of motion in my neck, which isn't really a lot, but it is still a lot. Um, I'm probably because I waited so long for the surgery. I the doctor suspects that I'm probably going to have my nerves are going to be a little sore for the next month or two, but he goes again. That's normal. So I recommend having the surgery. Get it done. Get it over with. Um, you know. Just relax. After surgery, you're gonna feel like you're gonna feel like crap, but it's gonna get better every hour. It's just gonna get a little bit, a little bit better. And here I am, day two. I was able to shower. Uh, you can get the wound wet. You know, I'm able to walk around a little bit. No heavy lifting. Just take it easy. So, uh, well, this this concludes part one. I will see you in a week with part two. Have a good one.